In Exodus chapter 40, verse 38, we find these words, For the cloud of the Lord was above the tabernacle by day, and the fire was over it by night, in the sight of all the house of Israel throughout all their journeys. John Wesley was a British evangelist in the 1700s. It's estimated he rode over 250,000 miles on horseback. He preached over 40,000 sermons. He brought revival on two continents. On his deathbed, about 60 seconds before he died, he roused up and he made this statement. The best of all, God is with us. That's what this passage tells us in Exodus chapter 40, verse 38. It's the visible presence of God. The fire by night and the cloud by day. It was the visible presence of God to the Israelites. Notice several things about this passage. First of all, what a comfort that was. All they had to do was look up to see the cloud in the day or the pillar of fire by night, and they would know God was with them. If they got afraid, all they had to do was look up and realize God was with them. We don't have a cloud and we don't have the fire by night, but we do have the word of God. In Hebrews 13, 5, the Bible says that God will never leave us or forsake us. What a comfort that is. This fire and this cloud also followed them continually. It never, ever left them. Psalm 23, 6 tells us, Surely uh, the, the goodness and mercy of God will follow me all the days of my life. Not just the good days. Not just the days when the sun's shining. But all the days of our life, God's presence is with us. And then lastly, this cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night was a confirmation. It was a confirmation that they were going in the right way. If they wanted assurance, am I going the right way? All they had to do was look to the cloud. If the cloud was going in the direction they were going, they were going the right way. We have the word of God to lead us today. Psalm 116, 105, the Bible tells us, Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. This cloud would also correct them. If they were going the wrong way, all they had to do was look to the cloud and say, Hey, we need to correct our path. God's word tells us how to correct our path. 2 Timothy 3.16 tells us, All scripture is given by the inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Are you following God's leadership? Where is God leading you? If you're not going in the direction that God wants you to go, just remember, God allows U-turns.